Hi, welcome to density estimator using k nearest neighbor algorithm. Here, the KNN algorithm is used as a density estimator to know the number of data samples or data points available in the clusters. The nearest neighbor class of uh, neighbor nearest neighbor is used to uh, estimate the amount of uh, smoothing to local density of given data points. The degree of smoothing is uh, controlled by the value k number of nearest neighbors which is much smaller than given number of samples in the uh, sample space. Here let us define the distance between the A and B of, uh, which is denoted by cardinality of A minus B for each data point X. It can be denoted as the distance 1 of X less than or equal to distance 2 of the data point 2. So here the distance between uh, X1 comma X2 uh, and this, this is the distance between X1 comma X3. So like that the nearest neighbors this is the suppose if you take uh, A is the uh, data point then uh, this data point is close to the A then next data point 2 is close to the A then next data point close to the B A. So like that the, we have to sort out the given distance uh, sort out the number of neighbors based upon the distance in ascending order here the d1 of x is the distance to the nearest sample uh, to the a and the d2 x d2 uh, x, uh, x is the distance to the next nearest sample uh, to the a so if we have to calculate like that uh, until all the data points if xt are the data points then define d1 of x can be minimum distance between x minus xt and if i is the index of the closest sample here i is the index equal to minimum distance between the data point x minus any sample x uh, from the given data points then d2 of x is the uh, here minimum distance distance between uh, the data point x to the jth data point. So here j and ith data points are different data points. That means here the samples are given in the plot. Uh, here uh, we are having the different class of data points. That means different clusters. Here the distance when you are calculating you have to arrange in the ascending order. Then this is the closest data point to the uh, data point x. This one is the second closest data point. This is third closest data point that means third neighbors third closest neighbors fourth closest neighbors so like that we can identify the neighbors distance then we can define the k value uh, to select number of neighbors to the uh, new data point x so here the density can be estimated uh, by using the formula uh, probability of uh, the distance to the x uh, equal to k divided by 2 into n uh, the d, dk of x here the dk of x is the distance from the point x to the kth neighbor so here uh, this is the value will uh, define the uh, estimation density estimation so here uh, the instead of fixing this uh, entire term we can identify number of samples are available in the uh, each and every bin so here we can fix the number of neighbors instead of fixing the distance here we can uh, identify the i mean we can fix the k that means number of neighbors which are falling into the bin so we can uh, if you identify the uh, k then we can identify the one how many number of uh, neighbors are in particular bin so we can come to know the bin size so based upon the bin size you can identify the density of given data samples so here whenever your bins are number of bins are less you look at here the number of bins is here very less so here only one bin is available so when your uh, number of bins are less the density is high here we have taken k equal to 5 so uh, uh, here we have taken the high density so here we are having 1 2 and 3 bins so here which is having high density and when your density is low then your number of bins is larger you look at that here one bin second bin 
they had been uh, uh, fourth one so fifth one sixth one so when you are having the k equal to one number of neighbor equal to one your density is very low so from this uh, we can we have to know what is, k is continuous or discrete so k is not a continuous value which is a discrete value and uh, to get a smoother uh, estimator we have to use kernel function to know the number of neighbors available in each and every bin so here if you use the uh, gaussian kernel function it will give you a better estimate better estimation to know the density of the uh, cluster so for density estimation uh, we can use the k nearest neighbor algorithm and also uh, by using a kernel function that kernel function belongs to gaussian kernel to know the uh, number of data points uh, available in the cluster that means density of the cluster thanks for watching